What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you another Clash of Titans where I'm going to be comparing Navisworks to the Bexel Manager. So if one of the previous videos uh, where I have explained how you can create a full 4D and 5D BIM simulation using the construction methodology inside of the Bexel Manager and if you haven't seen one of those uh, videos yet, I will be leaving the links to those videos in the description of this video, as well as the links to the free trial version of the Bexel Manager and the student version. While reading the comments, I noted that you frequently asked what is the difference between the Bexel Manager and similar products such as the, Navix, the Navisworks Manager. So today I'm going to be analyzing and comparing features of both the Bexel Manager and Navisworks. First of all, most of you guys asked about Navisworks and Navisworks easily integrates various 3D file formats and is very fast when it comes to loading and opening all of these files. Also, it has a very good clash detection tool and it creates 4D BIM simulations as well. On the other side, Bexel Manager is IFC certified by the BSI or Building Smart International for import of IFC files and supports an open BIM file exchange. This software fully integrates 4D and 5D engines and has a 6D BIM platform, so it could be used for facility maintenance as well. Both of these programs support BCF, which is a BIM collaboration format for exchange of BIM information. So it's uh, so the communication and the interoperability are open, and both have their own API, so they could easily be uh, further enhanced and customized according to the user's needs, and it allows for integration with other applications. And if you want to learn more about what is API, I already have a video on Revit API and I will be leaving a link to that in the description of this video as well. Now let's compare these. So let's start with the file format support. Now Navisworks opens numerous file formats which is a great feature and here uh, you can see all of these file formats. The Bexel Manager, on the other hand, uh, has an add-in for direct export of files from Revit and it also supports IFC file formats, which are a standard for Open BIM Exchange. Next, let's move on to the visualization, as that's one of those things that we architects can really appreciate. In the Navisworks, when the models are loaded, note the different visualization options which use Autodesk Common Material Database, so you can really improve the overall look of your model. Also, it has its own rendering engine and it uses cloud rendering options as well, so the model can really look good. Bexel Manager has a bit of a different visualization style, but you can also easily change the color of your elements or add textures even automatically based on different rules. Creation of a nice looking pictures of big resolution is really fast. And if you have seen some of the previous tutorials I've done on the Bexel Manager, I show how easy it is to create these rules and then just use those rules to add materials to your model. Let's move on to the project browser. When we get to Model Explorer and manipulation of model elements, Navisworks has the model elements breakdown tree with several different structures. You can create your own groups of elements or search sets based on specific parameters. Vexel Manager has a really nice explorer window with a different system-based breakdowns and is really user-friendly and flexible when it comes to easiness of accessing different model elements. Also, it is more flexible and it allows you for fast creation of custom breakdowns and smart selection sets. Again, this is something I covered in previous Bexel tutorials, so again, links are in the description, so check them out if that's something you're interested in. Now, quantity is one of the most important tasks that these types of programs should be covering. So if you need a quantity extraction and quantification of your model elements, Navisworks uses its system for creation of quantities based on loaded classification system. But the process of quantification of different elements based on a specific structure is pretty manual and not that fast. The Bexel Manager, on the other hand, 
has a quantification tool that is really flexible, intuitive, and accurate. It allows easy grouping and sorting of elements in specific quantification groups. It also has a great option of exporting those quantities in a visually stylized quantification report. Moving on to schedule creation, speaking of 4D BIM simulations, Navis Works enables import of schedules from different uh, scheduling softwares and then you can proceed with manual linking up of the model elements with the imported activities. It also enables manual creation of scheduled tasks, but uh, Navis doesn't support creation of task dependencies. Bexel Manager also supports import and export of schedules from Primavera and MS Project, but the real power of this software is its in unique feature for fully automatic creation of schedules using methodology tools. Here you can very easily create entire construction methodology with all activity links and relations similarly as you would in a scheduling tool, but with an instant connection with the BIM model elements. This way software intelligently can generate and add task dependencies on sets of rules and model elements. All created activities have defined dependencies and you can also easily change or modify task durations or dependencies. More info on this topic you can find in my previous tutorial on the Bexel Manager. Again, as I said, link is in the description. Moving on to cost calculation, and that's one of the most important processes in construction. You don't want you want to know how much the final building will actually cost. And as regarding 5D BIM features, Navis Work has only the basic options of importing costs to tasks as value, and these values are fixed and not dependable of model elements or tasks itself. Bexel Manager has a cost module which uses BIM cost databases, resources, and enables real cash flow analysis. It can work with different cost bases adjusted for totally different countries and markets, and also has a unique system for defining formulas and queries, which mean that you could be that they could be adjusted for different rules of measurement for any specific country or region. Cost items can be also created in the Bexel Manager and manually or automatically added to model elements. The software automatically calculates total values based on model elements and these values are changed if anything in the model changes. This means that Bexel Manager actually supports full 5D BIM creation and analysis. More on this topic you can also find in my previous tutorials. As I said, links are in the description. Moving on to 6D BIM and FM features. Now the Bexel Manager also has an option of progress tracking and generation of monthly payment certificates. This is very useful for general constructors and project managers. Also, it has a 6D BIM features for facility management and integration of maintenance plans and respective documentation. Now, hopefully, when I have explained the different features of these two softwares, I can definitely say that, that these are both great BIM tools. Navisworks is a very good for quick opening of different 3D files and awesome for visualization of your models. It's also useful for frequent clash, clash detection analysis, and it comes with some basic 4D tools, good enough for small 4D simulations. I think that designer teams and general contractors will have the most benefits from this software and its features. On the other hand, Bexel Manager is IFC certified and an integrated BIM platform which can be used in all project stages, from very early design stage throughout the execution until as built and facility maintenance stage in the end. This software can be used for all kinds of BIM analysis, creation of QTOs and tendering packages as well as intelligent 4D planning and 5D cost analysis. I find it extremely useful for investors, project management teams and general contractors as well as for designers which can all highly benefit from use of this software. Okay, so that includes this comparison analysis video of both the Bexel Manager and 
Navis works. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.